it's me Courtney and welcome to my channel in today's video we are gonna be doing three looks using the I don't want to call it new necessarily because it's been out for a while but it's kind of like a relaunch but we're gonna be using the divine rose 2 palette from Pat McGrath that's what all of the beautiful colors look like um, I think I'm also gonna be doing the divine rose one I had that palette for a while but I never actually did any looks or anything with it like on YouTube so I think I'm gonna be doing three looks with that palette as well so stay tuned for that but in the meantime if you are interested in how to get this look and the other looks I came up with then please continue to watch now with lids primed I'm gonna first go into naked blush and build that up on my crease this is gonna be a winged out look, so we're gonna flick that shade upwards past that outer edge while blending out those edges. Next, we're gonna take the shade Rose Seduction and add that on my inner lid space, as well as the outer lid corner, moving into that wing shape. Using Bronze Rose 005, I'm placing it on the center of the lid with my finger and of course blending that into the other shades we put down. I'm going to take a tiny bit of gold lust and I'm going to run that right up the center of the lid in the middle of the bronze shade we just used. Now I'm going to take a pink liquid liner. This one is from ColourPop and I'm creating a wing. Honestly, you could use any liner for this. We're basically gonna go back over it with pigment. I just wanted something to adhere to as a base. Next, we're gonna use a VR Sexture Terrestrial, which is the most shifty metallic fun shade I think I've ever seen. And we're placing that on top of the liner. This shade literally changes from green to pink to purple and it gives your look so much depth and dimension. It is just divine. <laughs> After the face is done, I'm taking a neon pink pencil liner to line my waterline. Dipping back into Rose Seduction, I'm running that on my lower lash line. And then buffing out the edges of that shade with a thin fluffy brush. Now we're gonna take Gold Lust and place that on the lower inner lash line, moving into our inner eye corners. I'm using Astral Pink Moon for my cheek highlight, kind of curving it around into my brow bone. Add mascara and lashes, and that's look one. We're starting with Extreme Burgundy and first tapping, then blending that shade on the outer eye corners. After a good blend of that shade, we're going into Naked Blush and we're gonna sweep that shade across the top of the crease, starting from the inner eye area, mixing that into that deep burgundy shade to help the blend. I'm taking Divine Dusk and placing it on the center of the lid. And then using Eleganza on the inner eyelid, blending it into the Divine Dusk shade. Then on a thin liner brush, I'm using Extreme Burgundy to stamp on a shadow liner, keeping it close to the lash line. we're using Astral Pink Moon and tapping that on the center of the lid to brighten it. Blending where needed. I'm gonna go ahead and add lashes here. After the full face bead, I'm taking Extreme Burgundy on that lower lash line, moving it up into the outer winged edge. And we're gonna wrap it around until we reach the lower inner lash line. Then taking Naked Blush on a small fluffy brush, I'm gonna blend out the edge of that shade on the lower lash line. Next, I'm taking my Dosa Colors Liner and Crush to line my waterline. Going back into Eleganza and placing that on the inner corners and lower inner lash line to highlight the area. 
Add mascara to the lower lash line, and that's look two. For the last look, again, we're using Extreme Burgundy, tapping and blending on the inner eye corner. Doing the same on the outer eye corner as well. And then taking a clean brush, I'm gonna blend out the edges of that shade on both sides. As we blend, we're sort of creating a slight curve over the center of the lid with that burgundy shade. Now we're gonna take that yummy shade, Sextra Terrestrial, and place that on the center lid but also running it across the top of the crease following the curve of that burgundy shade we first put down. Blending where needed. Then we're using Rose Seduction to blend out the top of the inner eye space, almost moving into that nose bridge, but not quite. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner to create a wing. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my lashes here. After the face, I'm going back into the palette and taking Rose Seduction, and I'm adding that to my lower inner lash line, meeting the tip of that same shade on the top. And then wrapping it around to the rest of the lower lash line, if that makes sense. And then taking Extreme Burgundy, I'm gonna blend out that lower lash line, focusing that shade mostly on the outer edge. Now I'm using the Sub-Zero Liner from ColourPop to line my waterline. And then next, I'm gonna go into Gold Lust and pat that on the inner corners. Add mascara to the bottom, and that's the final look. Hopefully this video was fun, entertaining, inspiring, all that great stuff. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video if it is in your heart to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.